Hey there, so I'm going to try and show a few different methods for having a kiosk in your shop for check-ins. So first, um, I'll show you a couple different methods here in the web and then um, I'll kind of cut away and show what the receipt and what the iPad could look like if you want to use an iPad. Um, some people do this on a computer too. But Okay, so from the leads tab, You've got a button that says kiosk mode, new window. This is one of the kiosk methods. Um, so if you have this screen open, like on an iPad or on a computer in your shop, and it's not signed in to your repair shopper account, this page does work. Customer could look, check status of an existing ticket or start a new ticket. Um, we'll just say, um, we'll just do one real quick. So vid test three, and I'm gonna put a phone. 8100 and get started and the issue type is maybe an iPhone broken screen broken screen description okay so now that's it this is going to automatically go back to that main screen so it automatically resets itself so this works on an iPad out on your shop floor and that's done now the customer could walk up to your counter and say, okay, I checked in. Then you guys in your leads tab would see this video test three, it says, oh, here's your info. Okay, let me turn this into a ticket. Um, and then that won't print anything, but you could go print whatever from here. And now you've got a printout. Um, so that's one flow you could use. Um, let's look at another flow. So on the shop settings, website integrations. There's a couple others. So that was that one. Um, there's the mobile device repair, um, which takes them through the wizard and then a simple problem and then contact info. That one um, you could make work similarly. Um, the self-service check-ins is my favorite. So that one, the URL is self-services. So let's show this one. So terms and conditions. Um, you customize those, customer scrolls down, they have to sign, this works on the iPad, this works on um, a touchscreen computer, so either of those methods work well. They can't um, click continue until they say I agree to your terms. Um, the test 3 and we said 555-8100. And then this one tells them their ticket number and this will trigger printouts. So if you have like a ticket receipt or a ticket set to print, um, that will print at this time. So you could put a printer next to this kiosk and have them like grab their ticket and walk up to the counter with it and it resets as well. So the screen is ready to go for the next person. And the third method we wanna show Oh, uh, in the web interface, what does that one look like? So that self-services one creates a lead, but it's resolved. So it won't show here, but it will be in your list of tickets. Um, so here's that last broken screen one I did. Um, so it's in your list of tickets already. That's what the self-service one does. Um, I'm just gonna resolve a couple here. Okay, so. So self-services, okay, let's check out the custom widget flows. So um, in your admin section, I'll just give a super quick um, tour of this thing, custom widgets. And actually I don't have a kiosk one, so let's just create one now. Um, so we can make a new widget flow designed for the kiosk. So I'll just say shop kiosk. And maybe we want a welcome message that tells them what to do. And then customer detail. And then let's do the device wizard just for fun. Maybe issue detail, signature, and confirmation. Okay, so we're gonna use the confirmation step to do a redirect back. So basically, if this is the start URL and you put this in the redirect on success. That means this thing will reset itself when it's done. I'm just gonna put an H1 tag in here. Welcome. 
Welcome. Please fill out all fields and bring your device to the front counter when you are done. Include next back buttons. See what the settings are. Customer detail. Let's get address. Let's require phone and email and first and last name. Okay. Device wizard. Issue detail. Show issue type. Drop down. Um, let's say you can only do one of these. And let's put a description box on there. Let's save. You can fiddle with this stuff. Um, this is where you could put in more terms and conditions on the signature screen. Um, so this lets you paste in HTML. Um, uh, you agree to our return policy. It's on the wall above you. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then confirmation we did. Okay, this is ready to go. Show this in the browser first. Okay. Hundred. Next. Got an iPhone six. Black. These overrides only appear because I'm logged in. I'm just gonna fly through this and then we'll do this once on the iPad so you can see um, this flow working. And then we've got the issue details. So they already said, but you can describe more here. Um, worked until I dropped it in water. You can have whatever custom fields you want in there and have them do like actual ticket custom fields. Um, this could be your big nice return policy. I agree. They can't click next until they agree. And now it's done. Thanks very much for watching. I know that went a little long, but I hope one of these methods works in your shops. Please do let us know um, if you need a small tweak to make one of these work for your shop. We're interested in hearing how it goes. Thanks.